Hello everyone and welcome to this free video tutorial about video file formats. My name is Lorraine Grula with VideoProductionTips.com and I hear from many people that one of the biggest things that confuses them about internet video production is the great number of formats to contend with. And yes, I agree, it can be very confusing. However, the good news is it's really less complex than you think because most of these formats are very common and they are pretty compatible with most people's computers. Most computers today play many different formats. They are loaded with several different media player software packages when you get them. So generally speaking, most computers can play most file formats. Of course, there still are differences that you need to be aware of, and I'm going to cover all that in this tutorial. Another piece of good news is that there are free conversion services and I will tell you more about that later and give you some links to where you can get free conversion of your video files. And then another piece of good news of course is that there are many different software downloads that you can get for free that do a great job of converting video from one file to the other and it's really not that complicated of a process. All right, if it were, I would have trouble with it because I'm not a real technician. Now let's start by talking a little bit about what is video compression and why is it important. Well, video compression is very important because without it, internet video would not be possible simply because video files are very large and download times would be monstrous if you weren't able to take those video files and make them smaller. So that's what you're doing when you put it in a particular format. You're using a type of compression a specific type of compression that goes with each format that will shrink the file size primarily by taking out details of information that theoretically the human eye won't really notice so much. That's what they're trying to do is make the file size smaller yet retain quality. Now different formats have been able to achieve that goal in varying amounts of success. But that is the point of video compression. In fact, you will hear the word codec a lot. Now the word codec is a combination of two words, compression and decompression, because that's essentially what's happening with video when you compress it. You compress it into a small size, then when you play it, the player kind of reinserts some of that information that was taken out in order to make the file playable. So that is why one format might not work on a specific player because the codec is different. The method of compressing and then decompressing the video in order to watch it is different and if it's not compatible it won't work but they all have the same basic goal. Now if you would like to know why there are so many different formats that become so confusing you can blame the fact that everybody feels the need to have their own. Each development organization, each manufacturing company, each standardizing organization, every uh, every combination thereof, they all want to come up with their own proprietary software for how to compress video. And that is why there are so many different kinds. Now on one hand, that gives you a lot of choices and that's great. But on the other hand, it does make things confusing and sometimes just prevent stuff from working. But fortunately, most of this stuff actually does work together. There are lots of friendly alliances between these groups, and most folks are truly working with the goal of compatibility and universality in mind. So, yep, the geeks are really trying to make it easy on us, folks. They really are. So we can appreciate that. All right, now we'll get into definitions of specific file formats that you will run across. Now, if you see a file with .avi on the end of it, that is a format developed by Microsoft. It's window based so it's very universal. It's also a very old format. It's been around for a long time so AVI is very common and a lot of people really like it. They think it gives you a great um, a great look. The video retains a lot of quality. Now AVI files are pretty big but they do retain a lot of quality and they're relatively universal. Now if you see a file format by the name of AVCHD, all you really need to know is that's not a web format. That is for high dollar, high definition home theater systems. That's going to become very common in the future and Blu-ray and 
a lot of the high definition home theater systems are going to rely on it, but that's simply not a web format. The files are way too big for the internet. One of the very most common file formats you will ever see is .flv. Now that stands for flash video. And flash video is essentially universal. Almost every computer can run a flash video because not only has Adobe, the owner of flash video, made their players very universal by giving free downloads, but also a lot of other players accept video in the flash format. So most players will play flash. Flash is simply the most common file format seen on the internet today. Most of the big wigs like YouTube use flash video because it is very universal. It gives you a relatively small file size. Not the smallest, but it is pretty small and it, it looks reasonably good. A lot of video files don't particularly like flash video because they think it doesn't look very good. But for most people, watching a flash video, it's going to look fine. There is another format called DV, which stands for digital video. And yes, of course, all of this is digital video, but there is indeed one format that is referred to as DV. And it is what you might call a very gentle form of compression. It does not compress very much. It is a particular type of compression that takes each frame individually and compresses it, which is called intraframe compression. This makes it work very well with editing software because it's easy to cut between frames. And so DV is extremely common and is extremely popular, but it's primarily used for video in the beginning stages. Generally speaking, it is felt that that is too big of a file format for easy sharing. So usually you have DV when you edit. In fact, a lot of video cameras, that is the file format they record in, DV. And then it goes into the um, computer and like I said it's very good for editing. So DV is very common but generally speaking it's not considered a sharing format because it simply doesn't compress it very much. Now if you run across a file with a .wmv that stands for Windows Media File, Windows Media Video and that of course is very universal since it's Microsoft and Windows based and it's very common and it can play on many different players. Now, if you run across some video in your computer that is labeled MSWMM, that stands for Microsoft Windows Movie Maker, which of course is Microsoft's free video editing program that comes on most computers you buy today. If you see this format, what you need to know is that this is not a sharing format. This is the format of video that Movie Maker uses during the editing process. This is a type of file that will only play and work within the Movie Maker program. All right, now Movie Maker allows you to transform and export your file in many different formats. So you will take it from the MSWMM file and turn it into a flash or an AVI or an MPEG or what have you. But that's what you need to know about that type of file. Now that confuses a lot of people so don't don't get confused by that. That is simply for the Windows movie making program and any video within the program as you're editing. That is the end of part one of the digital file format video. Please see part two for more information and free resources on conversion, I'm Lorraine Grula with VideoProductionTips.com.